<laughs> Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, having a little giggle here. How are we all? I am just going to just bringing up on screen the here we go with my new fabulous mouse. Don't you love that? And if you want to know how I did that and why I've just explained that to you, um, it's in my previous live that I did uh, an hour or so ago. Um, so welcome to Sunday afternoon creating with Natalie. I am doing a little free mini class here for you as part of the Great International Craft Show. And I'm going to today do a little art journal page and I want to have a chat to you about a couple of things. Um, now, just for just a half a second, if you get seasick, look away because I just have to readjust my camera just a little. Sorry. Please look at the palm of my... Oh, no, there we go. Um, that's better. Sorry about that, guys. I, I popped it up in the tripod in a hurry there and didn't realise that it's, that it was crooked. So much, much better. Okay, so today on nataliemay.com.au, I have got alcohol inks, 20% off, and paper collections, 20% off. So that is a pretty damn good bargain. Uh, if I do say so myself, and we are, there's there's so many different paper collections, so many things available, uh, and lots and lots of things for you to choose from, and Louise is packing your orders as we speak, and we have got a big couple of days ahead of us, which is great, packing orders. Uh, so what I wanted to show you today is I wanted you to have a bit of a look through a couple of the Minte albums and I'm going to, that's the stamp set I'm going to use and I'm going to talk to you about these little Minte cutout books because they're really awesome. Um, before I start, I just wanted to show you this as well. I, hello Amanda. Hello, Chrissy. I'm just reading comments. Sorry, just playing catch up. So um, I want to talk to you about this little album that I have here. Uh, these came in last week and they were a customer order. There's a few customers out there that like to create art journal pages on super smooth cardstock. And that's what this is. It is the most gorgeous super smooth cardstock. In fact, it's Bristol. And Bristol is a common paper used by card makers, especially for blending. It is the absolute go-to for so many different, different sorts of creatives. But um, this one is a gorgeous, gorgeous, it's 260 GSM. It's got, like, uh, what do they call that? Like a hundred pound weight. And it's really, really nice. I use it for my uh, swatch book. I've had this one for a while but it's really, really lovely. So they're a new product that are in store that came in the other day and um, fantastic little art journal. Right, let's talk about Minte cutout papers. These are the best. So Minte, as most of you know, are a paper brand out of, I think they're Poland. I should know that. Anyway, so these little cutout books are excellent. So really good for card makers, really good for scrapbookers, excellent for art journalers as well, because here they have got double-sided papers with lots of really cool little bits and pieces in them. So if you have a man in your life or you have to create men's cards a lot, then these are awesome because the double-sided papers mean you've got prints on here that are fantastic. Gamers, perfect for teenagers. Um, man's things. So there's a couple of each page, which is fabulous because you can make a couple of each card. This is something that's unusual that you don't see a lot, music uh, icons. So that one is available. Uh, also 20% off today, we've got the basic books. So the basic books are 
your backgrounds. These are just splendid for creating back card backgrounds. So they've all got like a speckle on them. That's got, it's not showing up on camera, so that's why I'm not using it. It's got, this one's got like a peeled paint background, a white brick wall, yeah. um, wood grain, burlap. And again, they're double-sided papers. So these, there's lace there. These are super inexpensive um, when they're 20% off. Really, really great for card makers. $10.40. $10.40. Well, that's very good. I was going to swear then. Background, uh, Basics Book 4, The Grunge. This is the other one, another one that we have available as well. And there's Rust, Wood Grain, Chalkboard. They are a total awesome grunge background. Um, really good for cutting up elements in your art journals. Uh, the Flora Book. So again, actually I'll do that one in a minute because I'm still on the basic books here. So this one's probably my favourite. This is the basic book two, which has the grungy neutral backgrounds. I'm a, I'm a sucker for neutral tones. I'm a sucker for script paper, wood grain paper. Um, that's just amazing. I really, really love that. So at $10 each this weekend... Love that. Or ten dollars. What did I say? Forty, eighty. Uh the rainbow background. This just speaks to me like nothing else. Look at that. Dun -dun. All of the double sided colours. And then the flora book four. This is the spring and Easter edition. So this has got some really lovely um little lilies, leaves and twigs, flowers. Perfect for those of you who love a nice fussy cut and this is the Easter page so there's one Easter page in here so even if you're not Easter based one page out of it that you don't use is not too shabby at all um, that's super cute the little birdhouse so yeah there you go they are available so today I thought I might use the probably the basics book is what I might use today because it's my favourite. And I'm going to use the new Natalie May scrapbooking stencils uh, in my junk journal. So what I have got here, this is my, my big junk journal. There's quite a few different ones available online. Um, so you'll be able to see different options. What have I got here? I did a page in here a couple of days ago. Oh, last night. Last night we did that. Last night we got all her, my girl squad out, um, which I do love that. I just need to, I feel the need to finish that off. And that's on the heavy, heavy denim page. All right, so enough chatting. Let's get it happening. Now this here is connected to that there. All right, I'm going to need to leave it as one page. I have put just a little gesso on the back here. Um, and I'm thinking that I just want to get some colour down to start with. And I'm going to start with some yellow and I'm going to use a dry brush technique today. So I'm going to keep it nice and simple with a little dry brush. So uh, rather than squirting it straight onto my page, I'm going to come in here and just, wow, that's bright. <laughs> and I'm not going to cover my whole page. I'm going to... Um, Incorporate a little white space because that's a thing. You don't have to cover every single... Oh, I've got a nice little wobble up there, guys. Sorry. Oh, shit. That's no, I don't know. That was either you or me. It's probably both of Sorry, us. Sorry, girls. Sorry. God, Louise. Do you need a written warning again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Add it to my pile. <laughs> Add it to the pile. Send a letter through to management. That yes. colour is Lemon Drop by Dilusions. And that is your fluoros. We're in Adelaide's collection of orders. Okay, um, collection of orders in Adelaide. So I'm just reading the comments at the same time here. If you're wanting to collect your order, the uh, I am based just about a two-minute walk from Marion Shopping Centre. Um, let's go for bubblegum pink. Um, yeah, a two-minute walk from 
Marion Shopping Centre and I am not a retail store where you can walk in off the street. I am a studio at home, I am an online store, which means that you do need to make an appointment to come in and see me, okay? So um, that is the go there. So please send me a message. I'm just replying to a couple of messages on, on that are coming through. Um, now I'm just using down some watered down using some watered down paint here to to get a little bit something something a little softer. Um, there we go. But yes, I am on the southern side of Adelaide, just a two minute walk from Marion Shopping Centre. For those of you wanting to know. All right, so there we go. So you can see just getting a little colour on there. Uh, and I, because I've got a gessoed background, just light gesso, I can just tone it back a little as well in a few spots where I was a bit heavy handed. There we go. But yes, I certainly do welcome people to the studio, but as this is a home-based studio, it is by appointment only at this stage. Oh, at all stages, let's be honest. Because you don't really want to walk in and catch me with a... Oh, with my hair looking like it is right now. Um, okay, so I'm going to start bringing in some stencils. So a couple of weeks ago, I released some stencils and this is one of them. So these are my new designs. And I'm just going to lightly baby wipe over the top. And what's happening is because it's on a gessoed background, it kind of pulls the colour back a little. That'll do it. Um, and let's wipe that up before I stick my hand in it. Right, what else do I want to do? I want to add a little bit of blue. Vibrant turquoise. Let's use some vibrant turquoise. Oh. Come on, open sesame. Right, so vibrant turquoise. I'm going to put this on. Instead of using a paintbrush, I'm going to use my palette knife. So I'm going to mix it up just a fraction. So by using my palette knife, it will enable me to just kiss the paper, just swipe it over the top to create a colour that catches the lumps and bumps of the junk, junk journal. And that's really important. I don't need a whole lot of that showing, but just enough to <coughs> mix in like that and just to touch over the top. Because this paper that I'm working on here is a graph paper, and this is a, I don't even know what that is, but it is a just a flat white paper. What's happening is this one here is all a bit lumpy and bumpy. And so that's what it's catching these, um, these marks on the paper, all right? Happy lavender. <laughs> so welcome, Deb. I noticed that we've gone from happy purple day to happy lavender. Is that an indication of how your day's going, darling? Or are you just shit staring me with that purple comment? Because everybody knows how much I love purple. All right, so I'm just going to lightly heat set that so that the next color I put on doesn't muddy up because we don't want it to be muddy. And then I'm gonna add some leaves. I'm gonna use this one here. So um, here in Adelaide, I, for those of you who don't know, yeah, we do have this little lovely little home-based studio. Um, and I do classes here as well where you do need to book in uh, in advance for classes. We've got quite a few classes coming up that are booked out, which is great for me, not great for you, but you know how it works. Um, okay, so what colour should I do my leaves in? The leaves are going to sit in the background and then I'm going to be adding a little stenciling over the top. So I might actually go in with... Let me think. I'm going to be using... I'm going to be stamping on this neutral background. Um, so I might pop in something, something a little different. I might do it in some elephant. So elephant is a really lovely 
light gray light gray it's a gray it's definitely a gray Is it it's a, it's, a gray? it's an elephant gray it's a brown gray so and I'm going to use my blending tool and it's going to tone back some of this you're having a lilac afternoon Deb love that love that for you all right so now i'm going to just dab that over the top and i'm just i don't want to swipe it too much because i'd like it to be more of a solid a solid color rather than a lighter color so i'm using the dina wakeley paints rather than the dilutions paints because the di the dina wakeley paints have a, have a heavier body to them. All right. And now we're talking. And I'll be able to doodle over the top of this. There's my first doodle for the day. Ooh. I'll be able to doodle over the top of this once it is dry. So the Natalie May stencils are only eleven fifty each. And they're all my hand-drawn designs. So I hand-draw everything and then we produce them. I am super proud that they are manufactured, designed and manufactured right here in Adelaide. That makes me super happy. They are not a product that is produced overseas. Uh, they are a local product and that is that floats my boat in all sorts of ways um i'm a i'm a firm believer of supporting where we can local businesses um and I, I i did talk about that a little bit in my in my live last night or yesterday afternoon that i did um so if you are wanting to catch the other how many lives have i done three four is a 12 plus third plus one this morning 13 live Facebooks that I have done over the last <laughs> two days, then you can go back and have a look on my Facebook page and then they will all be uploaded to Facebook um, probably next weekend. Okay, so next weekend by the time I manage to um, come back down to earth a little because it's been a big few days. Um, I will be able to upload those to YouTube. Either that or I might get Jessica to do it. She, just, she was good at doing the last lot for me. So, All right, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm toning that back just a freckle using my pointy leaves stencil. Yeah, I like that. And I'm just going to hit that with the heat gun to dry it off. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to pop it aside and I'm going to stamp some images. Um, so the stamps that I'm using today I just lost on my desk are the Dina Wakeley Ledger Girls. So I'm going to need a stamp block. I'm going to need to wipe that paint up before I stick my hand in it, my elbow or my acrylic block. And I'm going to put some girls around my page. Okay, so I'm going to stamp a few of them. And I want to stamp them on a page out of this. So I don't want something too yellow. I want something quite neutral. Um, I like the idea of it not being stamped on plain white paper. Plain white paper would work just fine, but I'm going to go with this angle instead and go with this one here. Oh, shoe fly. That sticky fly's back. Hang on a minute. Let's take it from the back of the book since I'm making this look so difficult. Was it that one or was it that one? one's mine don't mix them up with the other ones all right 
So I'm going to stamp in a black archival ink and I'm going to be using this super cute little crisp dye ink pad from Altenew. These ones are available online. What I like about this one is it's going to give me a really nice crisp permanent ink and I can go over the area a few times to make sure that I'm getting a really, really good coverage. Um, right about now, I'm thinking I probably should have used my stamp press because I'm doing this live, which means I'm probably going to mess it up. But you know what? Let's commit to it, hey? There it is. It's down. Am I going to get it right the first time? Oh, yes, I am. Right, done. Now I'm going to grab this ledger girl and I'm going to do another one and then I'm going to cut them out. So I do like these little ink pads just to make sure that I'm getting a really, really nice inky coat. Um, sometimes the, 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 big, the bigger pads are perfect, but this time I like that I, know I can get this nice little... I can get this good firm coat. So art journaling isn't for everyone, I understand that. This is something that um, I know some people can't quite get their head around and that's okay. Art journaling for me is an expression of creativity. It is the opportunity to empty my head onto a, onto a piece of paper and do something a little bit arty-farty. Um, I don't always love what I do, and I was talking about this over the last couple of days as well. I don't always love my what I create, but I love the process of creating, and I think that that's really, really important as well. Um, while I'm doing this, I might just do a couple of other little images. Um, so yeah, I do love the process of creating and I think that that's really important as we are, you know, to express, to express your creativity and to allow yourself some time each day to do something that makes you happy. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what works for me. So just doing some of these circles that I'm going to cut out and put around the place. And while I'm at it, I'm thinking I'm going to use these. Look at art, make art, show art, talk about art, be art. Does it fit in that gap? Perfectly, just like I bought one. So you'll find these little ink pads on the website under ink pads. You'll also find them in Altenew accessories as well because they are an Altenew product. Perfect. Love that. It's a really good little phrase, that one. Okay, so I need to cut these out quickly. So I'm just going to whip around these with a pair of scissors, just going in almost up to the line. I'm going to give myself a little bit. And if I don't have these images, I can't really finish the rest of my project. I need to have a bit of an idea where my focal point is going to be before I can lay down my stenciling and a little bit of background stamping as well. Um, and I like that this, this neutral paper is really lovely. So yeah, you get a bit of an idea on how cool the Minte papers are. They do those great little fussy cutting sheets, which um, if fussy cutting is your thing, Kerri ann where are you? Are you watching? There you go. Um, so a couple of comments here. I love classes, but doing on my own, I, own, I seem to struggle. Um, yeah, look, you're not the only one there, Tina. Classes are fun because you're forced to do things as you are, oh, I don't know. I don't want to say, like you're told. So I, I like the idea of classes in that sense, that you have to do it at a particular time. You're on a time limit. That's how the classes tend to work. If you do things on your own, you tend to procrastinate and you 
fluff around and you find something else to do. I'm, I'm guilty as charged with that when I've got deadlines. Um, I am... <laughs> Louise is uh, giggling in the background because she's now picked up after working with me when I've got deadlines due. Or when I should be writing instructions. 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 If, I'm, if I should be writing instructions, she will find... Yeah, you can usually find me doing anything... Anything except for for that. Um, so yeah, it's it's definitely it, it's not just you. It's a motivation thing. I think we all need to be pushed in one way, shape, or form. So I completely get what you're saying. And yet you're great at mixed media. Yeah, of course you can because you just slap it down and you just get it done. But yeah, deadlines and working in a time limit. Yeah, I know what you mean. I hear you. You're not alone there. Oh, sorry, guys. Itchy nose. Um, Louise, you can get a bonus this month if you can kill that fly. <laughs> Where's it gone? I am... See, it's gone now that you've walked over, haven't you? All right. So you can see how nice these look on this paper. I'm absolutely loving stamping on this pattern paper so pattern paper today on nataliemay.com.au uh, is 20 percent off so let me tell you about some of the brands that i have available we have minte paper 12 by 12 6 by 6 and these lovely little fussy cutting books we have 49 and market in 6 by 6 6 by 8 and 12 by 12 in full collections we have those available we also have AB Studios out of Poland. Um, some amazing Tandy art designs. They are available as well in 12 by 12. We have some beautiful collections from um, AB Studios. We have papers from Paper Rose, another Adelaide company that are doing fantastic. Most of you know that I worked with Paper Rose in 2019, helping them get uh, get off and running and get their product product out there on the market. So that is fantastic. I have them. I have some Uniquely Creative, which again is another Adelaide company. Yay, Adelaide. What else have I got? 13 Arts, another Polish company. Uh, we have Graphica 45. Uh, Graphic 45. There's some great collections there from Graphic 45. And if you're a Graphic 45 fan, there's some hard to find graphic 45 there as well um penelope d celebrate uh studio 73 australian company um plus a, oh, echo park there's just like a, a truckload of different papers available all at 20 percent off okay these are my focal points back to my page Dry, oh, not dry. <laughs> Louise deserves a bonus every month is a comment. Can you guess who said that comment? Tina. Tina. Very good. You get a bonus. Thanks, Tina. She's just picking her order now. Uh, are you serious? Yeah. She's picking your order now. No way. That's super funny. All right. What I want to do next is before I'm going to do some word stencils with my um, arty stencil here, but I'm just going to do a little doodling around my leaves. Um, I need to do a little bit of doodling around the leaves simply because I've got black doodling in my stamps. I've got black doodling, uh, sorry, black images in my stamps and they all need to tie together. So I'm just going to be super loose doing this and I'm using a Pilot Thin Black Pen um, and I'm, I'm not really fussed about how perfect it is. And it's really lumpy here because on the back of this page is the title. So it's a bit, it's a bit lumpy bumpy. Oh, 
That sounds like Macy popped in to say hello. Get outside. Get outside. <laughs> she's not going to go outside because I'm in here. So she's going to walk up here in a minute and she's going to bump the camera stand. Macy, out. Outside, quick. Needy little bulldog. And that's the bonus from working about working from home. Nope. There, she's going to come in anyway. All right. So just getting these little leaves to stand out. And then I'm going to pop a little background stamp on. No, actually, no, I'm going to do... Oh, the fly's back. I'm going to do that stenciling, aren't I? At least I haven't got any wet paint for it to land, the fly to land in like it did okay. last night. Because that was fun. All right. Excellent. Um, how's it going to sit? She's going to sit there because she's facing that way. Oh, my God. Get lost, fly. She's going to sit here because she's facing that way. And these ones going to sit here because they are smack bang in the middle and they're facing that way, that way, and that way. That is the plan. Okay. So first thing I want to do is I want to get this stencil. Let's get this one. And I want to get something with a bit more depth in the background. So I'm going to use umber, which is brown. Which is a little unusual, I know. But I'm also going to put with it some night. So this is brown and night. Leslie's just commenting, saying, uh, I like to follow instructions in what I do, especially mixed media, as it gives me confidence. Um, bit of feedback on that, Leslie. Instructions for mixed media are really, really, really hard to write. They are the worst. So writing instructions for mixed media can be really, really difficult for a couple of reasons. It's, it's so hard to put this and what we are doing into words. Oh, fly. It's really difficult and it's, um, which is why I don't generally do written instructions for my classes online because it's just too hard. It's ridiculously difficult. Um, scrapbook layouts, no worries at all. Um, but doing instructions for, say, my art journaling classes, forget it. It is just a nightmare to do. Um, look, if I could work out a way that you could get into my head, great, no worries. But, yeah, instructions are just way too difficult. Do they really want to? <laughs> Nobody really wants to be in my head. Thanks, Louise, for bringing that up. You could be onto something there. Um, but, yeah, it's it's a hard thing to do. Um, and I've just realised I wanted to actually wipe some of that off. I wanted to tone that down a bit. That's better. Um, so, yeah, it is the writing instructions and I don't know anyone who who teaches in this industry, who really enjoys writing instructions. Um, and and if you do know someone, oh God, nobody needs that sort of negativity in their life. <laughs> no, look, it's, it's, a, it's, a hard, it's a very hard thing to do. Um, so if you do an online class with me, for example, that's why we have it, have a, the ability for you to be able to watch them back. That's better watch them back and um, and then you can pause and you know you know how it works all right that works for me let's wipe that up before I stick my hand in it so just bringing that up to camera it's lots of layers of bits and pieces in the background and now we are going to what are we going to do What does that stamp say? Make art and your soul will listen. What I might do is I just want to add a little bit of... It's not quite right. 
let me just grab my other stamp quickly. One moment. I used I used this one the other day in my in my live. This um, the stamp from I think it's from We All Make Choices, and this is where using the big Ranger ink will come in handy. And I'm going to use it without an acrylic block. I'm just going to straight on here like that. So this is one of the Natalie May scrapbooking ones. Yes, Tina, you do need to book into my next online class, darling. It is coming up in a couple of weeks' time, just after my birthday, actually. Um, and... The online class, what we're doing for the next one is there is a sneak peek online and you can find them. We post you out your kit and there are lots and lots of really cool techniques and things that you will learn. I go into things in a, in a lot more detail in those classes. All right, there's a bit going on here. So I'm going to stick down my, my ladies next. I'm going to tear the bottom off that and I'm going to use, what am I going to use to stick them down? I might use glue. Where's my glue? Here we go, get the puzzle glue out. And I'm just going to stick the glue on the back of the patterned paper. Yes, I could have used gel medium for this purpose but the paper's a little bit thicker and that's what I want to use. That goes there. Let's stick her up this end. When is the next online class? I think it is not, when is it Louise? Sunday the 16th. Oh. Sunday the 16th of May. Next weekend is Mother's Day. So when... Oh, yeah. yeah, it's Mother's Day. Yep. So when I post out your order, I have put a little flyer in with it. So hopefully you'll all receive your order in time. Um, and I will actually put it online for you to print out. Maybe I'll do that because Mother's Day snuck up. Um, but... <laughs> You can, your family, your family can get you a voucher for Natalie May scrapbooking for Mother's Day. Don't you think that's a good idea? I think that's a splendid idea. So I will, I'll put up online after class. Actually, you know what I'll do? I will put it in the Natalie May scrapbooking community. I will put it online there. And if you're not part of the Nat Natalie May scrapbooking community, you can join up. But the, you can um, print it off and leave it around your house. A, a, a flyer which says that they need to buy, they need to buy your voucher. I'm just looking for some washi tape. This is, this journal that I'm doing here is a loose leaf journal, right? So it's going to pull apart here. So what I thought I might quickly do is underneath where that's going to go, I'm just going to put a little piece of washi tape to tie it together and then I'm going to glue over the top just so it holds into place while I do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have our focal point on our page. We've built our background and now we have got our focal point on the page. So that means that I'm going to cut that off.
And now I can add some more doodling, some more drawing, a bit more scribbling. I can add some Stabilo pencil. I can, um, I need to add some wording and some titles. I need to make this page come together a little bit more, okay? So I've just got a black felt tip pen. I don't even know where it came from, probably Daiso or, oh, this one might be the Pilot Pen. I collect pens, it's a bit terrible. So all of my little leaves now can have a little bit more scribble around them and they're coming together. But what I love is stamping on this Minte paper has worked an absolute treat. It is really, really lovely. Um, it has come up really very, very nice. I'm just using my Stabilo now to make these leaves just a little bit bolder so they stand out. What's going on there, Leslie? Oh, you've linked me. Oh, you're wonderful. Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, she's Leslie has just linked the group uh, for you to join up. If you're not part of the Natalie May scrapbooking community, I think that you need to be. I quite often put pre-orders up there and I do um, give you the heads up on, on specials and, and things that are happening. So, yeah, there's plenty of... Um, Things, and I encourage you to share your art. I would love to see what you're all creating. Um, it's all very well that you buy all of these wonderful things from us and we're super grateful for that, but we don't get to see what you do with them. Share them on the group. Encourage others to share. Um, your work is good enough to put up and to share. Please don't think that it's not. I... I get so many messages saying, oh, I don't want to share on the group. My work's not good enough. That's rubbish. Don't do that. Don't think that. We all create differently. If we all created the same, then, then it, you know, it'd be boring, wouldn't it? So please share your creativity with the, with the group. And um, it's a safe place. If you've got something negative to say and you put it up, I'm just going to take it off. I'm just going to block you from the group. Simple as that. But please... Please share your creativity. Um, we love that. All right. Yes, everyone going to share something? Everyone going to share? I might even run a competition. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I might even give a, a giveaway of one of my new stencils if you start sharing some of your original artwork. Not one of the classes that you've done with me. Not one of the, not repeating this, for example. I want to see some original artwork. Some of what something that's fallen out of your head. Okay. So I'm just doing a little bit of a semic scribbling writing here. Um, and then I'm going to stick on my words to finish off. And because journal pages need writing in one way, shape, or form somewhere, um, this doesn't say anything. It is just probably the thoughts that are falling out of my head. Um, and I'm going to cut this up. So this is the, the words that I, I cut out, I stamped earlier. And I'm going to put that one there. So today only you will get 20% off of alcohol ink. You will get 20% off of papers. So this paper that I'm currently cutting out here, this gorgeous Minte paper, you will get 20% off of that. It's down to just over $10, um, which is a bargain. Uh, so yeah, plenty of bargains online. We would love for you to take some of this paper off our hands. Um, I will be doing a scrapbook layout this afternoon using 49 and market papers. So please make sure that you come back this afternoon and watch me do that. I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet, but 
we'll cross that hurdle when we get to it. I know that I'm going to be using 49 and market papers, but that's about it. Um, and in a moment, once I stick this down, I will be taking a photo of it and linking the products used back on the, uh, in the comments as per normal. So now that I've stuck those sayings down, they kind of blend in a bit, don't they? How do we do that? Get the Stabilo pencil out again. And I'm just going to create a little frame around it. So it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be perfect and pretty. It's it's about um, creating something that you like. And I like this page. You might think it's a hot mess. But that's okay because I quite like it. <laughs> what are you giggling at, Louise? Just your maybe hot mess. My maybe hot mess. Um, did you know that you can splatter with a Stabilo pencil as well? Um, oh. Did, you didn't know that? Okay, let me show you. So because it's a super black pencil, I can just make up a little scribble here like this. And I'm going to grab a paintbrush and I'm going to make up a puddle like that. And now I can add a little splatter. A little, a little smoker's tap. A little black splatter. You could do the same thing with the white Stabilo. And a Stabilo pencil is a permanent pencil. So it once it's dry, it's not going to budge. All right, guys. So that's it. I'm not going to add any more to this page. It's going to end up being a bit of a hot mess if I do. I am going to... Actually, here's a bit. I forgot to do this bit. That's annoying. Um, I'll bring it up to camera so you can have a bit of a look. So starting at the top, um, I'll talk through the, the steps that we did. I've got a lightly gessoed page. Uh, we did some stenciling in the background and added some acrylic paint and toned the acrylic paint back with some light coloured uh, paint, uh, some stenciling, and then did a little doodling, a little stamping. We've added some of the new words from my new stencils, which are here. Uh, and we added those. Uh, we stamped on the Minte papers that are available on special today. And this is a really, really great pad. This one and the white one and the rainbow colored one, $10 each to get 24 sheets of paper is pretty damn great. Excellent for card makers as well. Um, so we stamped the Dina, Wake Dina Wakely Ledger Girls on here and then added some doodling with some pencil etc so there you go um okay today 20 percent off alcohol ink and paper collections um if you have any questions please don't hesitate they are on special until the end of today um i you can jump online and order it's 12 dollars 50 for your first order for postage and then all orders after that are going to be only one cent. So that's the no judgment special. So you still have to pay for postage, but you don't have to pay every time you do an order. Um, and <laughs> thank you, Gail. Um, and you don't have to do, you don't have to pay postage every time you order, but orders are limited to three kilos you uh, for 1250 so if your order comes in over 1250 and you order you know 17 books or pieces of paper or paper pads then there may be a little additional charge but we'll be in touch in regards to that so um i look forward to all chatting with you soon thank you for dropping by and i'll see you back here at 4 30 adelaide time for a scrapbook layout and a glass of wine thanks guys chat to you soon